How would you like to have one of those for a skull? Huh? Think about it. Kind of weird, huh? How huge the thing is? Well, believe it or not, guys. This was someone's skull at one time. Believe it or not. Yes, it was. But, getting back to this, to what it is, believe it or not, this is an actual person, a human skull, like your eye. And, there is this researcher named L.A. Mazzulli, Mazul. He discussed the mysterious analog skulls of Presa, and... The heads and structures are oddities that seem to be suggested that the genetic differences from normal humans and Mazulin recently held a press conference in Los Angeles to announce their testing the results and viewed related there's some related images and stuff like that. You know, I'm not gonna do that. Now the suggestion of the skulls are merely the result and intentional intentional coronal modification, cranial modification. And some of the co-researchers, such as medical doctors, one named Dr. Michael Adlai, believe they may represent a new subspecies of human based on the limited testing of said Marzulli. He said he would say some of them may have 25% to 30% 25 to 30% larger cranium capacity than normal human skull. If he had to guess, the Nephilim Yes, there's that word, Nephilim. That's one of the reasons this is paranormal. Strange. Nephilim have fallen angels described in the Bible who he had considered to be in fear of us ago. Intentional entities. That theory is that these beings fled, fled to Earth, Middle East, 3,500 3, years. Ago arriving in a new world much earlier than the Columbus and other explorers. He continued adding that jo Josephus Fias described the Nephilim as having countenance so different that the regular folk that they were terrifying to look at. Physically medium, psychic medium spiritual teacher and author John Holland has a technique for rising vibrations energy to link in the other sides and deliver imminent messages. He spoke about the decades of connection to the spiritual world, helping healing others. But I'm sorry, I apologize. I got a hit on myself. But yeah, 25 to 30 percent bigger craniums than us. And that was on coast to coast last night. Now, how would you guys like to have a cranium as big as that one was? As big as... Let me bring up the image again. Or... As big as that one, or as long as that one. That's a pretty big cranium, right, guys? Pretty big head. How'd you like the one that long? I wouldn't. By no means. Now, I did get this from Coast Coast. Directly from their website, word for word. But I tell you this, that I do this. But the reason why, that's not the, that's one of the reasons I bring the news to you, so you don't have to go look for it. And trust me, you didn't want to have to go look for something this crazy. Now, I will be gathering pretty soon more information on Manbat. And I'm intrigued if you guys want to hear more about Manbat. Because there is a lot of it out there. 
Not too much, but enough to maybe do about 5-10 minutes. And I'm wanting to know if you guys are interested in me doing it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. That huge skull you just saw. And that information that they could have been Nephilim. What that said, do you think? Are they Nephilim? Good luck. Good night. God bless.